Hello everyone, welcome to Sure Shot Archery and today we're going to cover some news and that is that World Archery has launched the World Indoor Series bid process. Yes, World Archery is looking to expand the World Indoor Cups and I guess it's going to be kind of renamed to the World Indoor Cup Series which is pretty cool. Um, we're going to go through some details of that. I'll have a link to the full article if you want to check that out that uh, Chris Wells from World Archery wrote. And other than that, we're going to get into uh, maybe my thoughts on it. And uh, at the end, if you want, down in the comment section, I would love for you guys to leave your thoughts and maybe places you want to see this tournament or more tournaments held. So uh, let's get into this. So in the article, World Archery starts off talking about, uh, you know, the history of the Indoor World Cups. So it looks like they started in 2010, and pretty much they've just been a success from there, and they've been growing. So World Archery has launched this bid process because they want to expand the circuit, and it's due to debut in the 2018-2019 season. So that is really close. So it sounds like that they're keeping events like the Vegas shoot and the Nimes uh, shoot. And um, they like how each one of those shoots has its own identity. Now, I personally have never been to Nimes, but I heard it's, it's like its own Vegas. I would love to be able to go at some point. Hopefully, I will get that opportunity. Uh, I've been to Vegas now for many years, and it's always really enjoyable watching the World Archery event on usually the Saturday before the uh, Vegas shoot final on Sunday. So I always look forward to that every year. Uh, that That is definitely its own event in itself, uh, and that is a lot of fun. So it's kind of cool that they really like that idea how these tournaments have become their own, own thing, but part of a bigger circuit, or well, now a series and they just want to grow it out from there. So we have a really good quote from Tom Dieland, the uh, World Archery Secretary General, and uh, he's quoted saying, the indoor circuit is appealing because it is open entry. Tournaments are a manageable length and the competition is accessible to a wide range of archers. And uh, yeah, for the most part, I will definitely have to agree with that. And I think what they're looking to do is they're going to add more events and that's just going to open up the accessibility because not so many archers would have to you could still fly all over the world but I know for me the Vegas shoot is pretty much the only reasonable one that I can go to and it's kind of two shoots in one if you shoot the championship division uh, for me it's not really affordable to go fly over to Europe at least just that you know at this point in time where I'm situated but if they expand to more then it could open up some opportunities for me to travel some more places, get some more shooting experience, and it can help bring in more archers from around the world and open up different regions that may not have been able to experience a World Cup before. And uh, that's a really cool thing. Now, they, they talk about, uh, about this new series and a key difference. Uh, they want to include three levels of the event. There's a 1,000, a 5,000, and a 250. Um, each with its own different requirements, and there's going to be a creation of elite and participation ranking lists, and there's going to be an inclusion of team rankings. So, I'm not too sure what the 1,550 is, uh, but it sounds like there's definitely going to be some kind of elite, you know, championship division, something that all those international shooters are going to want to uh, be a part of, you know, probably to get points to be able <clears throat> to be able to qualify for the World Cup uh, indoor final, or I guess is it the indoor World Series final? <laughs> uh, that's got a nice ring to it. Uh, and then it also sounds like there's going to be something more of a, a flights or a just a normal division for you know people that want to experience you know that big tournament but not have maybe so, so much there'll, there'll be competition there'll be plenty of competition but at least you you wouldn't be going against you know top and professional archers you'd be able to you know you'll be in the same building with them but maybe not you would probably not in the same division 
uh, which is also really cool. Uh, good experience for young shooters or even shooters my age. I would just love to be able to be able to shoot with some of the top men and women archers out there across the world and maybe just stick to my own division. Uh, you know, tons of opportunities, and it looks like we're just going to have to wait until more information comes out about that because it sounds like this was like the first release to the public, and now they're just building, or they probably pretty much have built the whole the whole back part of it. But I guess it's going to roll out, and we're slowly going to be informed about you know what's going on as more venues sign up. Uh, there's information if you are you know a place that wants to host one of these. Uh, World Indoor series, uh, you can go and find all that information uh, down the link below to the World Archery uh, page uh, for this article. There's links for signing up and the requirements and stuff. Interestingly enough, they're looking to grow this from uh, four shoots. So right now the four shoots are, and you know this seems like a subject to change besides, it looks like Vegas and Nimes are, are definitely in. They're official. Um, they did not say in this article at least if Morocco and Bangkok are official, but those are the original, those are the original four. You would go to uh, uh, yeah, Marrakesh, Morocco, and then Bangkok, and then you would fly to France, and then the final in Vegas. So they're looking to add two to four more. They want six to eight events in this first year. And then, who knows, maybe they'll go from there. So, um, it looks like they already have they, have, they have Vegas, Nimes, and Cancun. Yes, Cancun, Mexico, already confirmed. So, we got three. Uh, it's a matter of finding, you know, or getting three more. Maybe those two, maybe Bangkok and uh, Marrakesh, maybe both of them will come back. I'm, I'm not sure. And then maybe finding two more from there, or... Or maybe we need to go and find uh, five more and just fill it up to the eight. So hopefully, uh, you know, if you're a you know a venue owner out there and you think you got the space or a club or I'm not exactly sure on the requirements. If you think you can you know host a World Cup, an indoor World Cup, then uh, I would definitely look into this because that would be really cool. So on that note, I was going to go and make a map. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a terrible map. Um, I. Realize that I am not good at drawing the world proportionately without taking a serious amount of time in laying it out. So I went and did the next logical thing. I have gone to Google Maps and I have plotted uh, some places I'd like to see uh, World Cups being held. Now, granted, I can understand why it's tough, like setting up these tournaments and stuff. So I just picked very generic, uh, you know, places, just big cities. Pretty much just like a country I'd like to see it in. And, uh, you know, it's totally, you know, my thoughts on it. Uh, the only ones that I didn't change is I made sure that Vegas was there because it's a definite. Cancun is there because it's a definite. And Nimes France is there because those three are not going anywhere. I did also add in Marrakesh and Bangkok because they were, you know, events in the past, so they may continue being events. And then I added a few more on top of that, so I hope you enjoy. Okay, so first I want to start out with uh, number one. So the original order before this announcement was uh, Marrakesh, and then number two, Bangkok, three, Nimes, four, I put in Cancun, and then after that, it starts getting a little crazy. I just, I don't know, I just try to fill out the world a little bit. I know, I, I, there's a lot of world to fill out. And I'm really just going on, like, where I've seen, like, outdoor World Cups held and, and things like that. So this is just my take. And I would love to hear your take. Where would you like to see a, a World Indoor Cup Series tournament? Uh, so after that, I added, uh, <laughs> you know, the UK, so London, uh, Toronto. <laughs> now, now, that one's a little, that one's definitely biased. Because Toronto is not that far from my house, I probably couldn't drive there. It would have been like 14 hours, but I could definitely fly there affordably, like land in Chicago and then just take a rental car up. So yeah, that one's that one's for me. <laughs> uh, after that, uh, maybe like Tokyo, Japan, because of the 2020 Olympics. I know indoors, outdoors, different, but still archery. 
Uh, other than that, uh, Warsaw, Poland, uh, Colombia. I know we've had a World Cup there at one point, so I don't know if if there is an interest. You know, if there's if somebody looking to host an event in South America. Uh, and then other than that, we would close it out with Las Vegas for the final. So that's ten events in total. I know two extra. But, uh, you know, just, just ones I came up with and I thought that would kind of fill out the map. I know we're missing, like, most of Africa, Australia, uh, the, whole, the whole Middle East, and Russia takes up a lot of space, too. So, all of, yeah, there's, there's a lot missing. I, I know, it's, it's rough. But if they expand it to, like, 20 events, we could really, really fill up the world. The only thing is, is that I, I, <laughs> I don't know if I would want to be a World Archery employee. They, they'd really need a lot more employees, because that would be rough. You're talking a tournament every weekend, uh, at least for the indoor season. So, <laughs> that's my take on this. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, yeah, at the end, you know, there's, there's definitely some, some bias there. You know, i got to make it convenient for myself. And, yeah, we'll see what happens. I can definitely say, I, you know, I, I, I feel for World Archery, like, depending on how many requests they get, because, like, choosing the right ones based on venue and things like that, and then not having, like, five of them just in, I don't know, just in Europe or, or whatever, that's, that's gotta be, <laughs> that's gotta be a process in itself. So, uh, thank you for watching. Definitely check out Chris Wells' article on World Archery. That way you can look at all the additional information, like the links, if you want to go and peruse and see what is required by an organization to run one of these, uh, indoor world series events other than that uh you know stay tuned for more i'm going to be keeping an eye out and seeing you know what i see what i hear and uh, you know hopefully make some more videos on that in the future because this is exciting um other than that thank you for watching and as always happy shooting